or this this big workbook's in the way. I can't go past it. I can help you. Wow. Thanks, big ugly hand. It is still there. All right, these are pages 46 and 47 in the Let's Go 3 workbook. And this is the start of unit six, which is called, What Time Is It? So it's all about time. Uh, in this page, we're gonna remember this dialogue from the Let's Talk part, and then we're gonna do part A. So here was the dialogue. I'm hungry. Me too. When do you eat dinner? At 5.30. What time is it now? It's 5.45. Oh no! I'm late. Bye. See you tomorrow. I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. And this is part A. Part A just says unscramble and write. So we have all of the words from the questions or the sentences down here and we just have to put them in the right order. So Andy says, and Scott answers at 5.30. So I know this is a time, so I'm gonna put when first. When, when, when do, when do who, when do you, when do you what? When do you eat dinner? When do you eat dinner? At 5.30. Okay, next one, uh, Scott says burr, 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 and Andy says it's 545. So again, we're going to try to get a question word first. Here's a question word. What time? What time now? What time is or what time it? What time is it now? What time is it now? It's 5.45. And Andy's a little bit surprised, so he says, Oh! Sorry, Scott's surprised. Oh, no! Why, oh, no? Because I'm late. I'm late. Bye! And Andy says, See you tomorrow. up a little bit. There's the last one. Okay, and the last one, Scott makes it home and he says sorry to his mom. So he's gonna say one of these ones first. I'm sorry. I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. And part A is done. Okay, this is part B and it just says match. So we have to match from the clock, clock face to the words down here. And we learned some new and kind of difficult times on this page too. So let's uh, remember them from our class. So this is a clock, but this clock is missing something. It doesn't have any hands. So let's give it some hands. Here's an hour hand and it's short. Here's a minute hand, and it's long. This is the first time we're going to look at. The hour hand points to the 6, and the minute hand points up to 12. So this is o'clock, so this is 6 o'clock. Now let's turn the minute hand. The hour hand moves to, and we turn it to the 3, and this is 15. So we can say 6.15, or we can say a quarter after six. All right, let's turn them again. There we go. And now the hour hand is in between six and seven, and the minute hand is pointing at the six. So this is 6.30, or we can say half past six. It's the same thing. Let's turn them again. Okay, now the hour hand is almost at the seven, and the minute hand is pointing at the nine. So we can say 6.45, or we can say a quarter to seven. And if we turn it one more time, then 
Now the hour hand is pointing at the seven, and the minute hand is pointing at the twelve again. And I remember that twelve means o'clock. So now it's seven o'clock. Nice job. Now we're ready to match. So let's match to the clock faces. Now this one has the middle, uh, the sorry, the hour hand in between eleven and twelve. So it's eleven. And if it's pointing at the six, that means thirty. So eleven thirty. Let's find that. There's eleven thirty right here. It's eleven thirty. Okay, the next one is very small, but the hour hand is pointing at the eight, so I know it's eight, and the minute hand is pointing at the nine, which is forty-five. So we're going for eight forty-five. Here it is. It's eight forty-five. Okay, number three, the hour hand is pointing at one, so it's one, and this is five, ten, fifteen, one fifteen. Where's that? One fifteen. Here's one fifteen. Okay, number four. The hour hand is in between four and five, so that means it's four. Four. Oh, and it's at nine, so four forty-five. There's four forty-five right there. And the next one. The hour hand is at one, two, three. So it's three, and three. Oh, it's pointing at the six, so three thirty. Which is right here. It's three thirty, and the last one, the hour hand is pointing again, same place, in between three and the four, but the minute hand is pointing at fifteen, so that means it's three fifteen. And just like that, part B is done. Okay, this is part C, and it says look and write.、Uh, so we're gonna make questions and answers about the clocks in each picture. And if we can, they want us to answer using these kind of words. All right, so let's just trace number one.、So、the question is, what time is it? So trace that. What time is it? Question mark. And we look at the clock. Two thirty. So half past two. What's his answer? It's half. Past two. Okay, number two question is the same. So we ask again: What time is it? What time is it? And on this clock, it's four, and three means fifteen. So four fifteen, or we can write: It's a quarter past four. This is what I'm gonna write. It's a quarter. Q U A R T E R past four F O U R. Okay, number three. Same question again. So we just write what time is it? What time is it? Okay, when I look at the clock, the hour hands in between five and six. That means it's five, and this is forty-five. The nine. So five forty-five, or I can say it's a quarter to six. So what we're gonna write? It's a quarter. Q U A R T E R to six. <laughs> okay. And the last one again, the same question. What time is it? And the, the digital clock this time says seven thirty, and we already did one of those. We can say thirty as half past, so we can say it's half past seven. Oh, it's half past seven. And done. This whole page is finished. Good job.